What's up guys, it's Cody Zhu and I still expect a fan spilling the Pricer MK2S 3D printer. If you didn't see that, that'd be the last video that I uploaded. But in today's video, I'm gonna be trying to calibrate it and test print an object. So I downloaded these two files from 3dpressor.com, I think. One's the Presser 3 Mac photo that has like software, and the other is the Presser firmware. I've tried the Presser control and that's to prepare the prints and export the G code. G code. So I'm guessing the one needs to control is the Prompt interface, so I tried that one. Okay, so I realized that this is not set up like the Mod T printer. The Mod T just broke a USB cable into the computer and it prints, or you can use Wi Fi. But this one came with an SD card and it has the SD sort inside the controller. So I think I'm gonna try going that way first. Then that doesn't work, I'll try the software that I downloaded. Okay, so it came with the USB cable that plugs in right here. So I'm going to plug it into my computer anyways, and I'll plug the power supply in. So now I'm going to turn, the, turn it on by flipping this switch from the back. Oh, it's already on, so it turns it off. So I guess I have to go to the software now because it's not coming on. Okay, so uh... Open the file, the program code Slicer. I think this is going to be it. So I go right foot the road. And then I'll click next once it's ready. Alright, so I'm stuck again in the front G code favor. I think it's going to be rip prep. Let me Google it right fast. Okay, so I'm going to go up to default with the rip prep. The size is rectangular. Okay, so I can't start that. I think I can go to the file, road configuration, and go to Presto Farmer 2 MK2 1.75 Rainbow 13. Okay, so I'm gonna figure this out. Then once I find out, I'll come back and update everybody. Okay, so I give up so I asked everyone to try going back to the printer inter interface. I click the connect button so it says it's connecting. Alright, it's so doing that. I'm gonna to try to input some Gico and SD card. And which everyone works first, I'll let you guys know. So I went to the firmware updater that I downloaded for it. It's in that same file of apps. It says the 1.75mm file. Serial port hit update. So I'm gonna see if this works. Okay, so I click connect on the printer again after I installed the firmware update. And now it says it's connected and online, but I have a SD init fail. So now I'm gonna figure out what that means. So I'm gonna power the printer off and click the OCD wires because I think that may be the issue. If not, I'll research it some more on the internet. It's still saying it has an initial fail on the SD card, but I turned the cables around in this box because I think I have them backwards. But now I get the screen to wrap back up, so I'm going to stick the SD card and see if that helps it. If that does anything. So it's, it's off to the side. SD card is okay now. So I guess that's what it was. Now I've readjusted the contrast on the screen so I can see the words out now. Okay so I got the screen on but now I'm going to readjust the pinder probe right now. I think I got it installed wrong. I need to make the probe lower than the nozzle so that hits the bed first so the nozzle doesn't scratch the front surface. Okay so I figured if you clicked on the button right here Push it in, it'll bring you to a menu. So now that I got the probe settings right, I think I'll put a piece of paper under it so it's not ruining the print bed to begin with. Then we'll do calibration. So now I'll put the SD card into it so I can get it to calibrate. So 
tomorrow the drama first. Now that the film is ready, next I'm going to do the calibration. It looks like the it's cooling down. So I got some of the filament on the paper. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe I'll need to readjust the wax's hat or something like that. But right now it's still cooling down. It's at 47 degrees. So this can be a second time of me trying to get the Presser 3 printer calibrated. I went ahead and checked the alignment of the Y-axis frame. So hopefully that fixed it. So I'm going to try this one without the paper this time. If it starts to make it scrape, I'll just turn it off. Okay, so I got connected to the printer interface. Now I'm going to try the calibration test. Okay, so I'm going ahead and preheating the MK2. I have to figure out, out why that is, but I don't think it's too much of a roaring. So now that it's preheated, I'm going to try the calibration test. This is the screen's current.
Okay, so it's still saying as an underfound bed crooks matrix. Okay, so now I'm trying to figure out what that means. So I still haven't figured out what it's called to have an uncracked bed matrix. It's probably not addressed to the correct tree. But I'm going to go ahead and try to print the 3D Hubs Marvin. See if it actually can print with an incorrect bed hat or everything. So right now it's heating up. So I'm trying to adjust the alignment of the printer and test out a test print on it. The bed's heating up. Okay, so I think it's off some. Here is the print zero attached to it. Let me try that again. Yeah, I see what's wrong with it. The Z axis where your hat's not working. Okay, so it has a z-axis problem with it. Let's see if I can fix that in the menu. Okay, so in the main menu there's a option you can calibrate the z-axis. I'm going to try that. See if that works. It looks like it is, so... Let's see if we'll go this time. Looking for... 3D Hubs Marvel. Apologies, print. That one did not work either. Okay, so since it's not sticking to a bed because the z-axis is too, I'm going to try to adjust it on the printer interface. Hopefully this works this time. Not so what noise I was making, but yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna try to figure out what that noise was and try to get calibrated. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you're ready for this video first, please click subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.